catch him up. Let's have a clean fight. When I say stop boxing, stop boxing straight away. Batch your corners, better look. Will the pressure to perform in front of his hometown crowd get to Jay Swigler? Or will Nick Lamau come out and stun everybody? Hear him tell for England. It's our main event. It's our series five. Let's go, boys. Big move. Slow Jay down. Yeah. Oh, the kid, I will say this. The kid has good timing. He has good feel for pressure. Nick the Mayo does. Wow, this crowd is so loud. I can't even hear myself. If you're Jay here, you gotta be patient, right? Yeah. Faints are great. I know he wants to load the right hand. Patience is gonna be key here. Yeah. I love that Nick Lamal on the back of his trunks has the word underdog. That's absolutely what he is here. And he's embracing it, Todd. You're right, there was a hook that snuck in right behind the right hand of Jay there. But the wonder is, can Nick hurt him? Jay's so much bigger in the way he stands. Look at his stature. He's doing a good job of keeping the distance, so he has to stay away, being the longer Listen, guy. You see what Nick's doing with his chin? He's jutting forward, a lot of weight on that front foot to get the jab out of Jay. He's gonna pull and throw that right hand. Oh. Nick LeMond certainly jab. looks like he knows what he's doing in there, though, Slim. Yeah. I told you guys, I seen him spar before, and he looked pretty decent. Yeah. He's shoulder rolling a lot of that. Look, he's talking to the champ. But the thing is, Swingler is a puncher, you know? And there is Nick's family. You can see they're not necessarily super concerned. There's so much confidence coming out of his camp. They see this kid as the next coming. And Jack's got to be careful. At some point, there will be an adrenaline dump where he will all of a sudden relax a little bit. And that's where Nick can come in. Big shot from there, but look at this oh. follow-up. Telling you something, the kid's got something. He's got Moxie. Shots on the body, that was nice. Oh, the nice stiff jab. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Swingler can't keep his hands up. He has to do something. Swingler got rocked. Swingler's like, and look, Todd, what you're talking about is coming to fruition. The adrenaline's dumping right now. And Nick is having success. I liked how Nick went to the body, too. He's going combinations, variety here, and he's accurate, guys. Oh, oh big right hand! The homecoming oh. might be turning into a nightmare for Jay Swiggler! Again, Nick's taking these shots well. He's rolling with the shoulders. rolling with these shots, guys. Nice little shoulder. I like yes. it. I like it. A deep breath there from Swingler. could get to you. Swingler came out swinging really hard. I feel like he had a little bit of a jump dump, but Nick LMAO did his thing. I'll give him that first round. Jerry's corner said we got to get on the jab. We're not asking the right hand. He's seen it from a mile away. Get on that jab. So let's see if Jay adjusts here. He needs to take his time and set up that right hand. Another nice combination from the kid. Man. Now the fight's going to settle down a little bit and some boxing skills should show. Yeah, right at the end of that first round, I thought you saw a little bit of the difference in where both guys were.
And again, Jake's taking some of those shots well, but he got four rounds of this. Good head movement. At least if you're gonna take those kind of shots, I'll come back with something, catch and shoot. You know, don't just stand there, you know, as a, like a punching bag with your hands up. Oh. Everyone locked in in this enthralling main event here in Telford, England. The hometown kid and the unknown, at least in Misfits Boxing, Nick Lamau are putting on a show. Oh. And look at this. Yeah. Nick turned him. Yeah, Nick is looking like the better boxer right now. Slick. He's not using a lot of effort. And Jay's getting shots through, but he's forcing them through. He can't oh. do that for four rounds. Uh, he's keeping his distance very well, you know. He's using his long punches. And goes right to the clinch. Great game plan. Again, you wonder. You look at the body language of Swigler. Yeah. Hands on the ropes now. Yeah. You wonder how much is that taken out of him. That fourth round could be a disaster. Yeah. I'm starting to think he really underestimated Nick. Yeah, I think a lot of people did. Well, we didn't know about Nick, and you just look at the body types, you look at the their the way they their body language is. Nick, Nick looks like he's going surfing. He you know had, what I mean? This kid has six months of training time. Six months and he's doing this. Yeah. Jay Swingler is a puncher, though, so all it takes... It he, just takes one. Yeah, it no, takes it one. It just takes one. But as of right now... Oh, good big shot. body good shot. Act. Nice shot selection from Nick. And again, he's, he's allowing... Jay is allowing Nick to get shots off here, even with the pressure. Well, this is where Jay wants him back against the ropes, and he's not throwing. That should tell you how tired Jay Swingler may oh, be. Oh, good shot. movement. Big wow. Swing and a miss. Up the cut. Body. Oh, big left. There from Swingler, but Nick fires back here in the end of round two. Oh my God! Oh, oh. Living out my wildest dreams. Now we pass talking. I was the best though, but I never got a chance to prove that. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this to nothing. one day this fight Round I know three. you saw Creed Slim what'd you think about it oh it was a great movie man and I you know what the coolest part when I saw Todd Grisham yeah, on the right. screen I was screaming right. I, mean, I commentate with him hey I set you up for that you had to give me a name drop thanks <laughs> oh all right Wayne what would you like to see in this round from Swingler Jay's got to settle down a little bit and man right now the jab is non-existent from Jay he's got to throw it because that right hand is being seen but Nick's taking that on the shoulder. He's oh, no. That right hand slipped through his guard right there. In between rounds, it looked like both guys are a little gassed, but I look yep. in the corner of Jay, and I'm seeing big breaths, man. I'm seeing real big breaths. I don't think that's going to affect him coming forward. I just wonder how it's going to affect the shots. Oh, oh good right hand there from Nick Lamau. A question you're going to have to ask yourself, too, though, is Nick is not throwing a ton of volume. Yeah. And again, look at who's controlling the center of the ring. Who's moving forward? It may not be the most effective, but Jay is doing that. Oh, oh my God! It doesn't matter if you're moving forward if you're not landing shots. You know, with Nick you, is staying on the, he's staying on the outside. Oh. He's landing every single time that way. Look at that! I 100% agree with you. I've just seen the way Misfits has been judged before, but I agree. Nick is landing the effective shots even off the back foot right and now, and he's winning every single round, literally. Oh, good job over there by Jay. You know, you think that slam, but. Whether the judges win a minute or not, when you've got a crowd going insane every yeah. time your guy throws a punch, they could be swayed a little bit. Yeah. I mean, but it's such a one-sided fight at this point, honestly. Like, Jay has oh. to do something. Right hand again. Just standing there in front of Jay. Which is, you know, it's dangerous, but it's impressive that he can get his shoulder up and slides these shots off. Oh, good off the punch. That's good shot. 
to go shot. Where he needs to go. Well, Nick Lamau called Jay Swingler an old man and a dwarf. He said he's going to run out of gas. I'll put him away. Back and forth round here, man. It's, it's so hard to tell that what's landing and what's not from both guys because both guys are getting a high guard up and trying to block those shots. But for Jay, I would say he's having a better round here. He's got to follow up. Both men need to up their output, but fatigue certainly a huge problem. Yeah, it's setting in pretty quickly here. 44 seconds left in round three. If Nicky can continue doing this for the rest of the round, he, he's guaranteed to win. But listen, Slim, you see that Jay is just chasing Nick. Look, there's no cutting off the ring. He's just following him around. And that oh. allows Nick, even off the back foot, to dictate how the exchanges go. Look at this. He's out of the corner now. It's not good optics, though, Wade, when you're walking around backwards with your hands by your waist. I know. I agree with you. some more. Boom! Right down the pipe. We need more of that. Combinations to set up the right hand because that's what's getting through. And Nick is starting to slow down a little bit, you know, so one of those, one more of those, maybe the ball's going to change the fight. Yeah. It's, got, it's a must win round. It's it is. Dean the great <laughs> hands and he's the champ. He was a winner for our co main event. And final round. Difference is going to be volume this round, guys. Things dropped off the table in third round. So whoever can just put shots together here is going to go away with this fourth. And you see Jay cocking that right hand. Good job by Nick. Oh, around the guard. Yeah, Jay gets that high guard up, though. It helps him a little bit as Nick Lamal. Oh, hands around his waist. He's trying to take his head off. Yeah, he's still throwing big power. Still very dangerous. That's what he hasn't lost throughout these four rounds. Nick's power's gone a bit. Jay has stayed with it. There's fire in those hands. Oh, big right hand. Nick walked right into that one. Yeah. Oh. And now you're seeing Nick get a little bit out of control. This is why Jay's having success. He has to follow up. Oh, man. He's seeing those shots. Nick's got to get busy. He's standing right in front of him, Todd. He has to be just dead tired. Yeah. Back pedaling, hands are by his waist. Jay's got to capitalize, yeah. I think those power punches were adding up, too, from Jay Swingler. Hey, and we thought Jay might gas out in the fourth. Oh, it's Nick oh. the I mean, those have almost nothing on him right now. And Jay just right back on the front foot. That might have been the last big combination Nick had. Someone should return with something at least, just, you know, keeping his guard up like that. The problem, yes, the problem is Jay is not staying busy here. Volume will win this round. Yeah, Nick is putting it together. It might not be the most effective, but he's throwing it and he's landing. Good oh, job. Yeah, Jay. Yeah. This is actually a close fight. On, Last 30 seconds, Todd. Who wants this? A good final round for Jay, but Nick's head is Wow, look at this. Yeah, it's sliding through the guard. Those punches are sliding through his guard. They're 
both just completely exhausted. Are we going to see another upset tonight? The only round I feel totally confident about was the third round going yeah, to Jay. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Nick threw way more volume. Well, if you loved F Series 5, you got to watch F Series 6, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, that's a good one. Have you been to New Orleans, Slim? I haven't, but I would love to go. I suggest you do not go because you will not be able to control yourself and your career is going to go down the toilet. <laughs> Slim, they say New Orleans down there. You're going to have to work on your accent, too. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Nick, hey, win or lose, I think Nick surprised everybody. Everybody. In this sold-out arena, every single person is going to give the respect here to deserve to Nick Lamau. What a performance. All right, our judges are, again, tabulating the numbers. Oh, man. I, I swear. I don't, know what, I don't know how to lean, guys. I don't know how to lean here. If I'm being brutally honest, I'm going to lean towards Nick. Honestly, well, I feel like he did this, more. Again, we, we come down to boxing and defense and striking volume. It does go kind of Nick's way, but effective striking, big time power, the shots that differentiated the two, you could lean Jay. I, I don't know, man. It's tough. It is a tough one. But I, I can't, the, the defense, I can't say enough for Nick Lamau's defense. For six months in camp, to be shoulder rolling, guys. Yeah. I can't believe that. Say what you will about the skill level of the fighters at X Series and the build up and the, the acting and the trap. When it comes to in the ring, it is entertaining as hell, Slim, and the people here loved it. I, lo I mean, how can you not love it? This is entertainment, literally, the, from the build up to the fight. You know what, Chris Mannix, one of our boxing pundits, used to crap all over this stuff, and I know he's watching right now. That's right. He's writing articles about Jake Paul. He's talking about Dean the Great. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Chris Mannix. Good to have you back, Chris. Appreciate it. I hope he said good things about me. <laughs> he doesn't know who you are, Slim. Oh, 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 he don't know the hitman. <laughs> All right, Ryan Ventura has the most important card of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the winner, let's make some noise for these two warriors in the ring right now! After four rounds, we go to the judge's decision. Judge Gareth Morris has scored the fight, 39-36, Swingler. Judge number two, Jack Goodwin, has scored the fight, 38-38. And Judge Ian John Lewis has scored the fight 39-37 for your winner by majority decision. Jay 